Hi, so I'm going to review um, one of the kind of printer issues that came up during class. Um, and I, I honestly don't know why, but we figured out a workaround. So I'm going to show it to you now. Um, so what you're going to do, for whatever reason, it sort of helps to just have one sheet up at a time, just also to help kind of organize your thoughts, figure out where you are and which sheet. So I'm going to start with A101. So I'm going to go up to File and Print and then print again. Now I already have everything all set up here under properties, but I'll review that quick. You wanna make sure you're on Arch C, unless there's like two of you that are a little bit bigger on Arch D. You want it black and white for everything except the floor finish plan. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'll kind of walk through each one so you can see. So this one, I'm gonna say, okay. Now, instead of seeing current window, which is usually the easiest way to do an individual PDF sheet, I'm gonna pick selected view sheets and under select, I gotta scroll all the way down and make sure I'm just on A101 for now. Only have that one checked. Say okay, say okay. Um, you might get a couple other additional menu uh, pop-ups asking you to set up like a sheet set or whatever and just say yes to it, to the default. So in my case, I'm just gonna make a new one here so I can show you A101 test. These are kind of the ones I've made already. So save, remember last name, then the, the number of your sheet. So it should go pretty quick. So in my case, my computer set up with, if you saw here, it just automatically opens it to PDF. But notice it's still showing me over on Revit. It's not actually done. So we're just going to say hide. But if I were to go back over into my file folders, so it's over here, doo -doo -doo, um, there it is right there. So in my case, my um, Adobe Acrobat opens up and shows it to me, but there it is there just to confirm it. I'm going to go back now. So it sometimes helps actually to have Adobe Acrobat already open and kind of active. Um, so the other thing too is now next time I'm going to go to a uh, 102 my furniture plan. So I'm going to turn off my floor. Again, this is what it should look like. Room tags, AD circles, stuff like that. I'm going to go to file, print, print, and then this time under selected views, I'm going to click that select button and I'm going to uncheck A101 and I'm instead going to check A102 and then say OK. And then OK again. Yes again. Um, and now this time I'm going to call this one Conway A102 test just so you can also see it. Oops, there it goes there. And again, it doesn't actually show it finishing up here, kind of jumps, in my case, it jumps over to my Adobe Acrobat, and I can see it there, and it does open it up, and it's all set to go. Um, and then back over to Revit. So same thing for everything except your floor finish plan. In this case, I do want you to print it in color. So you're going to follow the same steps for the RCP, the sections. But in this case, for A104, you're going to go to File, Print, print again. Um, so over here under properties, I'm going to go over to paper quality and have it on color right there. So say OK. And then select and then down in here. I'm this time just showing you the A104. So I'm going to say A OK. Yes. OK. Apparently we're making a new set for whatever reason. OK again. Yes. <laughs> and then now this is Conway A104. I'm just going to put that test on there too and save. And let's see how quickly it jumps that one up for me. You should be able to see it in color. And there it is there in color. So this is, in my case, here's the test ones we just made from the dates here. I'm going to delete them out. But eventually, what you should be sending to me is, oh, we can't, oh they're open in Adobe. That's why they don't want to delete. I mean, you can just get, close that all down. So you can kind of see the full set here. There's that one. All right. We're going to, you want to send me a 101, two, three, four, four is going to be the one in color, and then five. All right. And um, again, sorry, it's kind of a kind of quirky little workaround, but we'll have this hammered out by our final one too. 